Hi, first grade. I just wanna go over your math quiz from last week and make sure that it makes sense and you feel confident. So let's go over it together. And if you have your whiteboard and your marker and eraser and you wanna do it with me, you can do that too, okay? Your first problem was 38 plus five. Well, we're at 38. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And you could have used a number line, you could have used your fingers, you could have counted in your head, okay? Your choice on your strategy, but 38 plus five is 43. Then we had 74 minus nine. Again, there are a couple ways you could do this. 74, well, if I take away, I know that nine is four plus five. So if I take away this four, I'll be down to 70. 70, if I take away a five, I'll be at 65. So I know that was one strategy. I think Nicholas used that strategy, your choice. But you could also put them on top of each other. Minus nine. Is four bigger than nine? No, gotta make it bigger. What is 14 minus nine? Now, if you don't know that math fact, you can use a number line. You could use your ruler, the numbers on the ruler. Four, start at 14 and go backwards nine hops, and you'll land at five. Six minus zero is six. Did we get the same answer? Yeah, it's just a different strategy. Then we had some bigger numbers that we're gonna to have to put on top of each other. We have 53 plus 26. Well, I'm gonna put them on top of each other. 53 plus 26. And I noticed Tyson and Aiden were doing this to keep it separate. Great job. We always start with the ones. Six plus three. Well, say six. Six and add three more. Seven, eight, nine. Five plus two, say five, five, and add two more. Six, seven, 79. Okay. Let's go to 86 minus 35. Okay, now the first thing you wanna notice is, does it say plus or minus? Make sure that you know that we're subtracting. Put them on top of each other, 86 minus 35. Well, what is six minus five? Again, if you don't know it, if you don't have it memorized, you can use your fingers, six, take away five. Or you can use your number line and count backwards. Make sure you're going backwards for subtraction. Eight minus three, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna take the three away. Bing, how much is left? Okay, 50. One. Okay, let's go to our next one. Now it says 48 plus 29. So I'm gonna put them on top of each other, plus 29. Again, we start with the ones. What is nine plus eight? Well, I know anytime we add something to nine, this number goes down one to seven. So it's gonna be 17 I put my 10 up here, four plus one, four, one more, five. Now we're gonna add two more, five, six, seven, 77. Okay, our next one is 75 minus 39. 75 minus 39. I always start with, remember we're doing subtraction. I start with the ones and I ask myself the question, is five greater than nine? Nope, so I need to make it bigger. The seven will go down one to a six, and I'm gonna put it over here. What is 15 minus nine? Again, if you need to get out your ruler, start at 15 and count back. Nine hops, 15 minus nine is six. Six minus three, is three. So we have three tens and six ones, 36. 
Now you're doing it with some hundreds. Don't be scared. You still know how to do this. All right, so 457 plus 238. We always start with the ones. Eight plus seven is 15. Five plus one is six. Seven, eight, nine. Four plus two, four, two more. Five, six. 695. Okay, now we have a big subtraction one. And remember, if I'm going quickly and you want to stop, just pause it. Okay, you can always pause it. So 763 minus 238. Okay, I'm gonna, we're doing subtraction, so I have to ask my question. Start with the ones. Is this bigger than eight? Nope, I've gotta make it bigger. Now I have 13 minus eight, which is five. Five minus three, five, take three away. Two, seven minus two, five, 525. And then we had a couple of word problems. Okay, so let me go down to the word problems. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, the first one says, Mrs. Kokalis has 465 pencils. Then it says, Mrs. Cantrell has 28 pencils, 28. Am I gonna put it right here? No, because that's with the hundreds. That's 280 something. So I have to scoot it over, make sure it's 28 over here, the ones with the ones. And it says, how many do they have all together? We're putting them together, so it's adding. Okay, we're gonna put it down here. Let's see if I can get that glare to go away. There we go. So 465 plus 28. I'm gonna start with the ones and we're adding. So five plus eight is 13. Six plus one is seven eight, nine, and then four plus zero is four. So we have 493 pencils altogether. But now it says something different. It says Mrs. Cantrell has 684 books. She gives 259 of the books to Mrs. Kokalis. Well, that's really nice. How many books does Mrs. Cantrell have left? So she gave 259, so I'm gonna line that up, and she gave them away. So did she get more books, adding, or are we taking books away, subtracting? Yeah, so we're gonna put a minus sign. She gave books away, they're going away. So her books, the number of books is gonna get smaller. Now I'm gonna look at the ones and ask my question. Is this top number greater than the bottom number? Nope, we've gotta make it bigger. 14 minus nine is five. Seven minus five is two. Six minus two is four. So Mrs. Cantrell has 425 books left, okay? This is tough stuff. So if it hurt your brain, or if there were some that you didn't quite get the right answer, that's okay. Look back at this video, practice this week. You can always practice new problems, put them on Seesaw, okay? You guys are doing an amazing job. I'm really proud of you, and you are definitely ready for second grade. You can do this. Bye.